Hi, this is Dan Tube. Today we are going to learn about the mandibular edentulous arch. Let's begin with some anatomical landmarks in mandibular edentulous arch. Fibrous band similar to that found in maxilla towards the lip is the labial frenum. Similar kind of fibrous band on the buccal side is the buccal frenum. The space between the residual alveolar rays and the lips is the labial vestibule. Similar kind of space on the buccal aspect is the buccal vestibule. The area between the buccal frenum and anterior border of masseter is the buccal self area. Its boundaries are medially the crest of alveolar rays, distally retromolar pad, laterally external oblique rays. The red line depicts the crest of residual alveolar rays. A pear shaped pad like structure that forms the posterior seal of the mandibular denser is the retromolar pad. It is a non keratinized tissue with a collection of loose connective tissues with an aggregate of mucosal glands. It is bounded posteriorly by tendons of temporalis, laterally by the buccinator, and medially by the pterygo mandibular raphe and superior constrictor. A sulcus or a depression which is present between the alveolar ridge and tongue is the alveololingual sulcus. A pair of bony tubercles found entirely on the lingual side of the body of mandible is the genal tubercle. Now let's correlate those structures in this clinical picture. Here might be the labial frenum. Here should be the buccal frenum and this is the lingual frenum. Here should be genital tubercles. This is the crest of residual alveolar rays. Now we can see a pear shaped structure over here. This is the retromolar pad. Now we can see the buccal self area on the buccal aspect. So this is the labial sulcus or labial vestibule and this is the buccal vestibule. The gap between the alveolar ridge and tongue becomes the alveololingual sulcus. Anatomic landmarks in mandible are basically divided into limiting structures, supporting structures, and relief areas. Under limiting structures, we have labial frenum, labial vestibule, buccal frenum, buccal vestibule, lingual frenum, alveololingual sulcus, retromolar pads, and pterygo mandibular raphe. Under supporting structures, we have buccal self area, residual alveolar rays. And under relief areas, we have Crest of the residual alveolar rays, mental foramen, genital tubercles, and torus mandibularis. That's all for the anatomical landmarks in mandible. Hope you liked the video. Thank you.